Hello, I'm Joseph Mould, Director of Online Learning and Instructional Design here at Bay College. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to add an assignment to your Blackboard course. So essentially what we're going to do is, uh, in this course I have a page called Modules. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my Modules link because I want to actually put my assignment inside of my module. Okay, so typically we'd have a module, we'd have our uh, objectives listed, and then we'd go inside of the module, and then inside I have this, this kind of uh, lecture notes uh, placeholder, and um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I want to add my assignment, right? So my, I can add my assignment by going over to assessments and just rolling over it, and then it gives me this list, and here in this list has an assignment. So if I click on assignment, I can add the name of my assignment. So maybe it's a paper on climate change, just as an example. So I would title it, and then I would give some instructions. So you want to be clear on your instructions, um, whether you want them to attach a Word document, which is probably what they would be doing in case of a paper, right? or if you're just having them type something in of the actual text editor, whatever it is that you're having them do on the assignment tool, make sure that your, assign your instructions are clear, okay? And your instructions go right here. All right, so make sure you have clear instructions here. Um, now, let's say for an example, if you have like a, um, an example, for, for an example, let's say you have some sort of uh, of table or some sort of Word document that you want them to add on to. So if you wanted them to download a document and add to it, you could you can attach the file right here by browsing your computer, finding the file and attaching it. And then make sure it's clear in your instructions that you want them to open this Word file, alter it or edit it, and then upload it and attach it to the assignment tool. Okay. So points possible. You can just add your points here if you know what your points are. But what I recommend that you do, I strongly recommend, is that you use the rubric tool because rubrics are really good ways to let students know what your expectations are for the assignment. So it makes it very easy for you to just actually attach a rubric to this assignment. So if I've already created one, I can select one here, or if I want to create a new rubric, I can just simply click on create new rubric. And for an example, it gives me, you know, a predefined rubric here. So if I wanted to go with percentages, I can leave it at a percentage, or I can actually say I want points, right? And then I can enter in the number of points that I want to give for the assignment. And then I can go in and I can fill in the instructions for what a novice performance would be, what a competent performance would be and what a proficient performance would be and I can also add rows and add columns here and we need to remember when we're using rubrics we should always have at least four columns right so I would definitely want to add a column here but for just examples sake I'm going to cancel this and I'm just going to add 10 points right here okay so I highly recommend using the rubric tool when you are um, using the assignment tool because the students want to know where uh, what the instructions are so they can go into the my grades page and look at the rubric for the assignment and it's also posted right on the assignment tool right so um, number of attempts you can uh, you can change this to however you want if you want to allow a single attempt or if you want to allow an unlimited amount of attempts you can do that here right you can limit the availability of the assignment by clicking here and choosing what day you want it to be available from and what day you want it to be available to, right? By using the calendar tools and the time tools. But I'm just gonna leave this assignment open. I can also track the number of views if I like to do that, but in its, I, and right here, due dates, I can put the due date for the assignment, right? So I can enter a day on which I, the assignment is due and I can enter the time of which the, the assignment is due, right? And then recipients, more than likely you're always gonna be doing all students individually, okay? Unless you're doing, unless you've set up specific groups. After you submit this, 
this is what your assignment will look like this is where your instructions will appear in your module if you don't want it to be in this order you can always move it around to wherever you want it to show up perhaps you want it to be above this item or below this item but and then as you rearrange your items in your table of contents in your module this is where your assignment shows up right and uh, they actually the students will actually use this tool so to submit their uh, assignments so if I turn the edit mode off and I look at this assignment um, this is where I can attach my file or if I needed to write a submission I can just write a submission here by using the actual WYSIWYG right and if you had used a rubric your rubric would show up here too they could click on a button to view the rubric then they would you know uh, they would upload their file and hit submit and then the, the file will be submitted to the grade center right okay so that's how you create an assignment in blackboard um, hope this was helpful i'll see you next time